So once you get your wall laid out, the first thing you're gonna do is put it up there, line it up, grab your drill, and line it with your marks that you had marked out. And what I'll do is attach one side first, usually this bottom one, because it's easiest. And then as your partner holds it, you take your level in the middle, and then he can secure the other side once you level it up. When you're leveling, it's very important that it's not just, the bubble's not just between the lines, it has to be centered, because level is very important in our system for it to operate properly. So I can hold it up here while Ryan attaches the screw. Good, and then you fill in the rest of the holes. And now once it's installed, it's time to move on to your fabric. Now I'm gonna show you how to attach the fabric to the roller tube. Uh, first thing you do is lay it out nice and flat here. Um, get a clean, flat surface. And I'm gonna unroll this hem bar about three to four rolls. And then you're gonna set the roller tube on the fabric, fairly centered. And then you'll notice here that the hook and loop are attached. Um, there, there should be the same length. Uh, the, the hook that's on the fabric is short of the fabric, whereas, and it should line up there. So the next thing you're gonna do is ease this over. Um, and as I said, same length. So you're gonna try to line the hook and loop up together over here and lay it down nice and easy without stretching it, because you can stretch this fabric quite a bit, especially in the heat. So I'm gonna lay it down nice and straight, line it up with the edge of that hook that's on the tube, and go there. Now, it should be the same length, but if you stretch it at all, it might hang over a little bit on one side. Your goal is to have it hang over about the same. I, on mine, it looks like I pulled a little bit, so I'm about an eighth inch over each side, but centered is the key. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a strap, and what this is gonna do is keep this thing from unrolling on me when I'm in, putting it up into the housing. So I just stick this under here, one at each end, and I don't wanna do it too tight. I leave, leave a little bit of slack there, and I'm just gonna easily do a little double knot there so it can't come undone on me as I'm putting it up. And I'll do that on the other side also. So when you go to install your roller tube and fabric, first thing you're gonna to need to do is re remove the spring clip that comes pre-installed on the motor mount in here. It's just a little spring that holds the motor from coming out once you get it in. Set that aside. Then you're gonna feed your cord up through that grommet. I always have a hand wipe handy because that's gonna help it feed through that rubber grommet and glide through rather than grab it and pull it, pulling it out. So I'll do that first. And as you get close, you can take this end and your partner can go to the idler end. And you're gonna, he's gonna insert the idler end first. It's spring loaded, so we can, we have play to go back and forth. Make sure your partner holds his hands on that at all times so it doesn't come loose. This motor cord has a little slot here that has to be all the way pushed in and that little yellow cap on the end closed. And then eat it up in there. And that's when you're gonna take your spring clip lock it in, and it's installed. So one thing to always check once you get the roller tube installed is the idler. Since it's spring-loaded, you can see um, a lot of round shaft here. That means it's barely hanging in there and it is spring-loaded, it just hasn't sprung out. Um, what you do is you lift a little bit away right here and you watch it spring, and that's how much you should see, about a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch max, then you know it's fully inserted.